Hey, beautiful Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, there could be a word in this for you. My name is Michelle. How you doing? Uh, we're going to get right into an energy reading for you, Aquarius. We'll just talk about whatever Spirit God Source wants to talk about. All right. Let's remember roles could be reversed, but flock transposed. All are welcome here, including the cross watchers. These are never, ever gender specific readings. Personal readings are also available. If you're interested, Aquarius, find that information below, as well as the join button. Okay, maybe consider joining the channel. But let's see. For beautiful Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus, my Aquarius babies. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. <laughs> Yes, we're getting ready to move right into the fall season. Okay, so let's see what we get for beautiful Aquarius. Raindrops, take a chance on them. Okay, so there's some collaborations going on here. It's almost like Spirit is saying you're covered. You see these angels or fairies on the side of each person, even though it's raining. Okay. So you could be 39. Somebody could be born in 93. Okay. Um, there's also the energy of the number 12 here. So uh, dream big is what I'm getting from that. But yeah, it all breaks down to a number three. There's collaborations. There's safety with numbers is what I'm getting. Also, more hands make less work. All right. But take a chance on them. Somebody's taking a chance on you. Or you're taking a chance on them. That's what Spirit wants you to do. You're covered. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What's going on here? Aquarius. You know, the strangest thing. I'm hearing that song. You could be dealing with somebody born in the third month. So that could be an Aries or a Pisces. Florida may be significant here there may have been a lot of um rain storms rain a lot of rain you may meet someone in the rain walking in the rain with the one i love but yeah i'm getting that song by kodak black and doshi i think that's the name doshi what it is what it is ho what's up Every young girl needs a little thug, and every black boy needs a little love. You may be changing. There's a season that's changing here. For you or them, there's an age gap as well, is what I'm feeling. Somebody could be looking at old pictures, reminiscing about the past. Something from something like that. Yep, see, there's been a lot of rain, a lot of storms in the past here. Mm -hmm. But I do feel suddenly the tides are turning. Suddenly, there's a different uh, energy here, and it could be a Virgo. Okay, from these towers, you've learned a lot. So, yeah, there has been some wonky energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. There has been some wonky energy with Venus being retrograde and Leo and then Mercury being retrograde. You could be dealing with a, a Gemini. There's an energy here where um the, the tide is turning here. Oh, so there could have been a sudden breakup. Okay, or a sudden. I feel that somebody may have cut someone off. But this person doesn't really want you to cut them off. But it's like, okay, so if you're living in the same household with someone, <laughs> there's no speaking because you feel like the truth ain't in them. Now, if you're not living with someone um, because you may have moved or you may be thinking about moving, but this is somebody in the past, could be a Scorpio, where there was a, t a turbulence, okay, a tumultuous um, energy here. Somebody may be reflecting 
on this past and seeing what they have learned from the experience. There's also an energy here where somebody may be trying to communicate. Okay. Wow. Then you have the Queen of Cups reverse. Someone took someone's love for granted because love is here. And oh my darling, now you're gone. You made me love you. Yeah, somebody is, like I said, somebody has did some self-reflection or they have did some analyzing. Okay, they have looked this over, thought about it in their head. And it's like somebody is getting a new inner standing about who you were to them, how you were to them, how you fit in their life. Okay. Is what I feel. And I do feel that with the Ace of Swords reverse, it's like somebody cut someone off because they didn't have the truth in them. It just did not exist. Okay. Or there was a lack of communication. Someone let this kind of like just falter and pass. Okay. Is what I feel. Someone just let it go. Okay. Without even realizing the depth of the connection okay and look now you may even be moving on to someone else someone who is um communicative someone that you feel is almost like a best friend okay this with that song coming up what it is um it could talk about how you have uh cut yourself free or set yourself free from what you thought you, that your person should look like, sound like, be like, okay? And that literally opens the door for new love to come in where they may be totally different than what you would even have thought that you would uh, be attracted to or that would be, you know, available for you with the hangman reverse just like you're seeing things from a different perspective through a different lens okay and it's like that song what it is <laughs> it talks about how um there's no judgment when it comes to love it's just like it is what it is okay every good girl will will at some point experience a bad boy so to speak okay and every bad boy still needs love as well and vice versa something like that is what i'm getting okay so there may be yeah something like that going on all right i don't know <laughs> it could be a leo uh, a leo or aries or a sagittarius is definitely here but i feel um <laughs> that somebody can literally open up and talk to somebody about their past yeah so that's what i'm getting there's something about you may meet somebody right and they may be doing very well they have a lot to offer they have you covered you have them covered <laughs> or whatever the case all right even if this is business romantic or non-romantic okay personal or not there's an energy here where you may get to talk and it's like, oh, well, how did you get here? How did you build this empire, for example? Man, I had to start all over. You know, I used to do this. I used to do that. I used to be, um, you know, I experienced being, um, you know, locked up for a quick minute or I experienced turbulence in my past. I experienced this kind of relationship, that kind of relationship. I used to do this. I used to do that. Okay. You could really talk to this person. Okay, they want to see you freaking win and they are down for you like they will fight for you. They will. They want they see something long term. They are a good listener. This is something that can grow, blossom and bloom between you and this person. And it's it's like you guys are different, but you belong together. We belong together. Now, on the on the other side of that, um, there is somebody from the past who may live at a distance from you who may um, still be in your energy or they may want to converse. They may want you to con reconsider. They may want to reconcile. Okay, what's this?
there's also an energy here where there's new investments. There may be um, something about property here. Okay, you may be finally getting off of the fence and making some decisions, making some boss moves. You're going to make great progress. All right, Spirit is saying, um, you know, take it easy. Take one step at a time. Don't be uh, hasty about anything, okay? Yeah, but whoever it was that treated you meanly, whoever it was who didn't identify you for the beautiful part that you played in their life they are literally going through some type of karma now it's also what i'm getting here there's things that are crumbling and falling okay but you know this this karmic energy this karmic path we all go through it it literally is going to put this other person this person whoever this is you or them is going to put them on the other side of things where um they literally are awakening okay they are awakening <clears throat> they're awakening to what is super important to them, all right? And they're they're figuring it out, all right? That's what I see also. Let's see. What is this? I want to start over here. Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what is this? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> they want to get you by any means necessary. That's what they want to do. They want you to let go of what happened in the past. Okay, five, five. They want change. Five of swords talks about an energy of tactics. All right. I feel that someone is being tactical about trying to hold on to your energy, hold on to you. Okay. They want change to happen with the five of cups reverse. Now, this could literally be you, Aquarius. The five of swords is you. So you may be changing things around. You're taking the reins. You're taking back your power. All right. After some tumultuous... Uh, energies back here okay you're free okay you're setting yourself free you are free you're walking into a new season here but i feel the spirit wants to put someone on your path here that uh is going to you know be very abundant for you very high vibrational for you um and vice versa okay yeah see the angel is here over the tower the angel yeah, everything is happening. There's divine intervention in this tower, okay? Things were the way they were supposed to be. It happened like that for a reason, all right? Um, Spirit God Source is literally creating um, abundance out of chaos for you. See, someone is coming into your life. You're covered. This person is being di divinely directed to your path. They're very wise. They could have it. There could be an age difference, but they're very wise. Okay. Very. And you're going to see them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, see, very abundant, very abundant. Yes. <laughs> I like this. I like it. All right. So, um, conflict and chaos is being, um, is being, you know, removed and, there's stability and security here. There's even a cash infusion here, okay? Or, you know, you have lots and lots to look forward to when it pertains to your time, your money, and your energy. It's on an uptick, is what I feel. Yes, with the six of wands here, like I said, it could be a Leo or the Leo Venus retrograde really had some shit going on with it for you, okay? But look at this. Um, there's somebody coming towards you here. You may even be thinking about traveling. They find you to be gorgeous. They find you to be incredibly intuitive, magical, unique, um, beautiful. Okay. Beautiful is what I would say. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're really shaking up their world. Okay. I also feel this energy that somebody wants to take you shopping. Um, there's also this energy where you have a plethora of options or choices to make. Where are you going to spend your time? Where are you going to spend your money? Where are you going to pour your energy into? What are you going to do? Okay, I feel that this person is going to help you make some really good choices for yourself. All right. Yes. Look at this. The angel is literally bringing in more followers or more onlookers or you're being put in the spotlight. You're being elevated after a time of turbulence, okay? 
So chaos and conflict is turning into victory for you. All right. The, um, the six of wands talks about victorious energy. It is winning at least one battle. All right. It's overcoming. Overcoming obstacles, overcoming, you know, people talking about you and these people in the background who didn't believe in you. Now they do. Now they want to see you. Now they want to follow you. You're being elevated. You're being put in the spotlight for some reason. And there's also this energy here that as your courageousness goes up, as you feel more confident within yourself, more offers come in towards you. Okay. Now, some of you, you're getting a new job. Period. You're getting a new job that's going to give you lots and lots of money. All right. <clears throat> like this is cash in hand. Okay. Somebody could literally be sending you money on Vimo, Cash App. Okay. Um, wire transfers, PayPal. Google Pay, Apple Pay, whatever it is. There's an opportunity here. Definitely. Wow. Surprisingly, though, ooh, mm. let's see what is ooh, doggy. If you don't want to get pregnant, first of all, um, be careful because there may be a surprise pregnancy. But there's an energy here also. Where, who, who, did I talk about this? I did talk about this recently. A masculine or a feminine energy that you may not have gotten along with when they were here on this earth. They literally do want the very, very best for you. They want you to know that. You have a guardian angel here. Um, they want you to talk to them. They want, they don't want... I'm hearing, I don't want to lose your love. I don't want to lose your love. This could literally be um, a person here, okay? But for some of you, there's a strong message that you have a guardian angel watching over you through this chaos. The temperance through the uh, storm here, the, the tower. The tower is here again with this person and it's someone from the past that you may have lost. With the angel here, spirit is saying, that your mother, your auntie, your grandmother, or a masculine energy, they have love for you. They don't want you to forget that. They want you to, they want to hold on to your love. They don't want you to forget them. Okay. If you didn't get along or I don't know what happened. Okay. You know, if this is talking about you, because we have the four of pentacles and the ace of pentacles here together. That's a five of pentacles. There was a loss. Okay, but something is being restored here. There's this energy here where your guides, your angels, your ancestors, they all want you to know you have every tool to make it. Don't give up on yourself. Keep calling it into the universe. Keep on persevering. Keep on going after your dreams, your goals, and your desires. Okay. There's also an energy here where, yeah, you are the great I am. You are manifesting with the universe. All right. They want you to win. Okay. They do. All right. Next message. What's going on here? There's also an energy that somebody new is coming into your life. Uh, there may be a couple. Um, there may be a person from the past and a person from, you know, your someone coming into your future. Spirit is saying, don't hold this old, this new person accountable for what the old person has done. Okay. Spiritual partnership. That's what it is. What it is. Oh, what's up? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just what it is. Okay. Somebody makes money in these streets. Somebody may be in, um, into, you know, like this cannabis uh, or whatever somebody is naturally perfectly setting up for you okay they have compassion you can talk to them yeah they may literally be into music okay they may be an entertainment they may be an entertainer of some sort an artist um you may share lots of music together okay but yeah 
abundance, baby. What? That's what's going on. Okay? Yeah, self-discipline. Spirit is saying don't self-sabotage. You are worthy of all great things. <laughs> Aquarius. What else is here? I'm also here and listen to your gut, listen to your own intuition, to only take this message as it resonates, take it as it applies, but there's something you're going to be deciphering if you should invest in. You may have choices to make with the Seven of Cups. I feel that there's an um, old belief system that has been shut down, or it should be, Okay. I feel that you find love in odd places like this in the rain, like it's storming, it's raining here, but look, unity, spiritual partnership in business and in love, people, okay, are crossing your path. It says here, a time of divine understanding. There's a renewal, a second chance for peace and hope. You radiate and attract great love into your life, Aquarius. What it is, this is what it is. <laughs> Until next time, take care and be well. Namaste, Aquarius.